I think I think drawing is probably the most spontaneous and relaxed way in which you put your thoughts out. You know, it's think it's, it's it's extended thinking, rather like talking, you know? and you don't sort of stop to think before you talk often. <laughs> And, 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 and one just doodles away. I mean, I think that some of the modest drawings are the most important ones, where you just sort of say, well, why don't we do it like that? Or we could do a thing here, you know? Rather, I think there's another form of drawing which is sort of showing your accuracy of observation. But for me, it's also thought projection. It's also, it's a whole, it's a whole spectrum, isn't it? From, uh, you know, tight, objective sort of drawing via life drawing to what uh, Paul Clay called rather wonderfully taking a line for a walk taking a line for a walk which I love you know to have a space where you can take a line for a walk I mean a lot of people I think it's wonderful that in 2015 uh, Bournemouth is, is is starting a drawing it's not nostalgic it's not backward looking it's the kind of grammar on which everything else in an art school is based and you, you neglect it at your peril I think it's a great pledge for the future actually to have done this and, and the great thing about drawing is that you need great light and the great thing about this building is it's got the most fantastic light not just a huge window, but sort of mysterious light coming in through the entrance and all the rest of it. I think it, it's, going to, it's going to be a huge attraction, and uh, and it very much goes with Bournemouth's independence and you know small scale, face to face, independent arts university. It's, it's it's sticking its standard in the ground and saying we believe in these things because they're important. And I think symbolically as well as actually, it's it's a big moment for Bournemouth actually. And I think it's it's also interesting in that it's a, it's, a, it's a college that has made a great statement in having a very wide variety of types of creative artists and I think there's so many parallels I mean I would hope that it's used by you know a couple of architects in one corner a costume person in another corner somebody who's an etcher maybe another corner, animator, a couple of animator. An animator and a filmmaker yeah. and that they look over each other you know the great thing about the studio is the traditional studio is you look over the shoulder of the other person you know it's, it's an excuse almost to be verbose and, and, and to in, interact. Whereas if you're in a sort of co teaching corral or in a classroom, the implication is that you shouldn't move out of your perch. In the studio, the ambient thing, and the hand is part of that ambient thing. Yeah. It's the naturalness of a studio somehow, which is very special.